carbon dioxide is released during respiration. Aim To show experimentally that carbon dioxide is given out during respiration. Materials required For this experiment, we would be requiring the following materials. 1. Germinating bean seeds 2. Conical flask 3. Potassium hydroxide solution 4. One hold stopper 5. Cotton wool 6. Laboratory stand 7. Beaker 8. Capillary tube 9. Petroleum jelly 10. Thread Procedure Let us now study the procedure to perform this experiment. Take some germinating bean seeds in a conical flask. Sprinkle a few drops of water on the seeds to keep them moist. Dip cotton wool in potassium hydroxide solution. Suspend the cotton wool inside the conical flask by tying it with a thread. Close the conical flask tightly with a one hole stopper. Insert one end of a capillary tube into the conical flask through the hole in the stopper. Seal all the gaps with petroleum jelly to make it airtight so that the gas evolved during respiration by germinating seeds does not leak out. Place the other end of the capillary tube dipped in a beaker containing water. 9. Mark the initial level of water in the capillary tube. Leave the apparatus undisturbed for one hour. Note the change in the level of water in the capillary tube after one hour. Observation From the experiment we observe that after some time, the water level in the capillary tube rises. Inference The germinating bean seeds respire. The oxygen inside the conical flask is absorbed by the germinating bean seeds. The carbon dioxide given out by the bean seeds during respiration is absorbed by the potassium hydroxide in the cotton wool, forming potassium carbonate. So a low pressure is created inside the conical flask. To make up for this low pressure, an equal volume of water in the beaker slowly rises up the capillary tube. This shows that carbon dioxide gas is released during respiration. Precautions Following precautions should be taken while doing this experiment. The germinating seeds should be moist. Fresh KO8 solution should be used. The end of the capillary tube dipped in the beaker should be completely immersed in water.